Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use text animation in Explainio 3.0. So EVC 3.0 comes with a new feature that allows you to create some really cool looking text animation like the one that you're seeing right now. I'm going to show you how to use this feature, so let's dive right in. In EVC 3.0, most of the animation magic happens in the new timeline. If you haven't already, please check this tutorial to understand how to use the new timeline. In this tutorial, I'm going to focus specifically on text animation. First, I want to share with you some animation scenarios that you will see on the timeline. In the first scenario, you only have a text box with a small gray bar. It means that there is no animation applied yet. In the second scenario, you have a bigger gray bar and a slider which indicates that you have an in animation. In the third scenario, you have two sliders, one for the in animation and the other for the out animation. And finally, in the last scenario, you see a gap between the sliders and it means that additional effects have been added. It could be an animation point or a time delay, which is what I've applied here. Alright, so let's get down to it. So this is the project file that I've already created and I've got two scenes right up top as you can see. So in the first scene I've got two objects or elements on the canvas and the first one is a text box with a zoom and bounce effect and the second one is an image or logo with a zoom and rotate animation. Let me just increase the timeline. You will notice that both these objects have a default setting what I mean is that they both start at the beginning on the timeline and what that simply means is that both these objects will animate at the same time. Let's check a preview. As you can see both these objects animate simultaneously. If I move the slider further down like so and preview it again you will see that the text animates first and then the logo. So in the next scene, you will notice that I've got six text boxes and notice how I've set up the animation in a step format. So the animation happens in a sequence. Let's do a quick preview. So this is the in animation, then the out animation, and then the next in animation. So let me just collapse the first two text boxes here. As you can see, the first text box has an in animation and an out animation and then the next text box has the same but see where the bar is placed it is placed almost midway in relation to the previous animation and the same goes for the other text boxes except for the last one you will notice that it has only one slider right here and that's only an in animation but also you will notice that there is a slight extended gray bar right here beyond the slider and that's because I've put one second time delay and that was done in the effects tab using the pause after action slider so let me just hide the timeline and if you see right here I've actually put a one second delay so now let me create a scene and I will add a text box I will change the font, just increase the size, and then change the text. I'll just open the timeline, and then I'll apply text animation to this text. Essentially just drop it down, and then click on this box, and then go and choose text by a letter, and then choose one of the animations Let's go with zoom in bounce. I'm going to move the scene right in front. For each text box, you can apply one in animation and one out animation. So now let's apply an out animation. So you click the box and then choose text by letter again. Let's go with fade out. Now you will notice that there are two sliders, one for the in animation and one for the out animation. Let's do a quick preview.
If you want to edit an animation, you can click this double arrow icon and then choose a specific animation that you want to. You can use this little icon here to duplicate the text box, like so. You can delete animations by clicking this X icons for the corresponding animation, like so. And if you want to delete a text box itself, you can just click that X icon corresponding to the text box, and it's gone. You can also use these sliders to control the speed of the animation. Essentially, the smaller slider means that the animation is going to be faster, and the longer the slider, the slower the animation. So that's pretty much an overview of the new text animation feature in EVC 3.0. Early in this tutorial, I talked about animation points, so to learn how to use this animation feature, check this tutorial. Also, coming up next is this tutorial on how to animate objects in Explainio 3.0. Similar to animating text, EVC 3.0 comes with a ton of object animation effects, like the ones that you're seeing right now. I will continue to add more EVC tutorials to my YouTube channel, so feel free to check in. And if you've got any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.